Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making this little Easter egg. It is the last part of my Easter accessories that I will be making before I start doing the big bunny. And if this is the first part you're seeing now, I will have links down in the description for the carrot, the peep, the little Easter basket with the eggs. And you can do those ones as well if you'd like. For this video, I will be using a number four medium weight yarn and a 4.25 millimeter hook. This is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you. And I am also providing a drop down at the top of the screen with the pattern instructions for the first 30 seconds of every row for you to follow along with. And if you enjoy this video, please hit the subscribe button and click that bell. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video, as well as any likes, shares, and comments are always appreciated. Um, I think that's everything. So grab your yarn and let's get started. All right, we are gonna begin at the top of the egg and you can start any way you want. I will be doing a knot with the loop on the end as if I was going to make a chain. I insert my hook, grab my yarn and chain one. And that does not count as a stitch, that just attaches our yarn to our loop and for row one we are going to do eight single crochets into the loop going over top of the tail one two three four five Six, seven, and eight. Grab a stitch marker if you're using one. And for row two, we are going to do eight increases. So that's two single crochets in every stitch all the way around for a total of 16. So increase. One and two, increase, three and four, increase, five and six, increase, seven and eight, increase, nine and ten, Increase, 11 and 12. Increase, 13 and 14. And our last increase, 15 and 16. And if you haven't yet, make sure you pull your tail to close up that hole. Row three, you're going to do 16 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 12, 13, 14, 
15, 16. Uh, row four, we are going to be doing three single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 20. One, two, three, and an increase, four and five. And just if it's starting to curl on you, make sure it's curling away from you so you are staying on the right side. And continue your pattern. Six, seven, eight, and an increase. Nine and ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. And an increase, 14 and 15, 16, 17, 18, and an increase, 19. And when you go to do your last one, you're going to insert your hook, grab your yarn, and pull up and leave those two looped on the hook because we are going to change colors now. So grab your next color, so grab your stripe color, and you are just going to tie your new color to your old color, nice and close to the hook, two or three times. Make sure it's tight on there. Now you can cut your old color if you want, but I'm going to leave mine. Any color that's repeating again, I'm going to keep attached just to save myself from one extra color change. So once you have your new color, you're going to grab it, pull through your last stitch of the last row to finish off that 20th um, single crochet. Row five, we are going to do 20 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Row six, you are going to be doing four single crochets, one increase. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. One, two, three, Four and an increase, five and six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an increase, eleven and twelve. Thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, and an increase, 17 and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and an increase, so 23, and then when we do 24, 
we're going to go in and pull up leave those two loops because we're going to change our color again all right so take your new color and the last color you were using and you're going to tie them nice and close to the hook just like you did last time two or three times And again, I won't be cutting my last color because it will be being used again in a couple of rows. So it's our newest color we are gonna grab, pull through our last stitch of our last row to finish that off. Row seven, we are going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. Whoop. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Row eight, we are just going to do another 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. And row nine, another row of 24 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and then 24. You're not going to finish that off because we are going to change back to our one stripe color. So I am done with my middle color, which is blue right here. So I'm going to cut that and I'm going to tie it to 
my stripe color, which is purple. And of course, your colors may be different. And when you go to um, tie this one, leave some slack over across the blue so that um, you're not pulling the side in. So you don't want that stripe color right tight against. I will show you in a second when I get her tied on there. So you see I left a little piece of that color there so these two aren't pulling tight together. All right, so grab the color you just tied on, which is, um, for me, the purple stripe. And then just finish off that stitch. So for row 10, we are just going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, <clears throat> excuse me, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Row 11, we're just going to do another row of 24 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and our 24th stitch. Again, we're not going to finish that off because we're going to switch back to the color we started with. I'm done with this purple stripe color, so I'm going to cut that and I'm going to tie it to my original color I started with. And remember, keep the slack down here across so that you're not pulling um, pulling it down from the inside. So sometimes the first one's a bit tricky. Just try and hold it there as you tie your knots. Oops. Oh yeah, got it. Once you get two or three in there, it should be good. And then you just pull that through to finish off the last stitch of the last row. In row 12, you're going to do 24 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Row 13, we are going to do two single crochets, one decrease. Repeat that all the way around for a total of 18. And you can do invisible decreases if you prefer. I am just going to do regular. So one, two, and a decrease for three, four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, eight, and a decrease for nine, ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve, thirteen, 14, and a decrease for 15, 16, 17, and a decrease for 18. Okay, we might as well add some stuffing now. We only have two rows left. If you want to add any eyes, I would do it now. I'm not adding eyes to mine. And you just want to push that up into the top. You don't want it to be too pointy, but you don't want it to be too flat either. So, however you feel. I'm going to save a little bit of stuffing for the end. So, when I feel like I have most of my stuffing in, it's probably about like that. I'm just fairly even with a little bit more than the top, so I will have to be careful not to grab my stuffing. So once you're happy, reinsert your hook. And for row 14, you're going to do one single crochet, one decrease, repeat that all the way around for a total of 12. So one and a decrease for two, three, and a decrease for four, five, and a decrease for six, seven, and a decrease for eight, nine, and a decrease for ten, eleven, and a decrease for twelve. Add a little bit more stuffing if you need to. I think I'm going to wait. And for row 15, you're going to do six decreases all the way around for a total of six. So one decrease, two decreases, three decreases, four decreases. Five decreases, six decreases, and then you'll just slip stitch into the next stitch and tie that off, leaving a little bit of a tail if you are just going to be closing it. If you want to make a little hanger or something coming up through the top, you want to leave a little bit extra. And I'm going to 
gonna take my stitch marker out, add a little bit more stuffing in the bottom. I'm just trying to kind of push it to the sides. probably good. Now you're going to grab your darning needles. Thread that on. And then you are just going to go in and out from where you're first tied off. Back and forth in the top loops. The last row, and then when you get around to where you started, you're just going to give that a pull, and then give it a tie in the next stitch. And then just thread that down in the center and out wherever. I always do mine through the top just in case I decide I want to hang that or whatever. You may have to give it a little shaping. And there you have your new little leg. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed crocheting this little egg with me, make sure you please hit the subscribe button and click that bell. Not only does that help me out, but you will also be notified every time I load a new video. As well as if you want to make the carrot or the peep or the little Easter eggs and the basket, they will be linked down in the description as well as at the end of this video, I will put up in the four corners the link to each video for those and as soon as I have little bun bun here videoed I will put him in there as well and as always take care be safe and happy crocheting